Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the ECC Division 4 playoffs. We have just seen Oxymoron winning with 4-2. And now we will be seeing the Pizza Boys taking up against Team Arthur Bravo here in the upper bracket now. And um, I'm Dennis, and I'm still joined here with Creolix. Yeah, just come off a brilliant lower bracket game where Oxymoron you know, finished it off in style. And now we head over to the upper bracket where we have the Pizza Boys and Team Alpha Bravo. Pizza Boys went undefeated in their league play at Team Alpha Bravo, losing only one game. And the game they did lose was to the Pizza Boys, which is uh, you know, why I've predicted the Pizza Boys for the win here. I see you've also joined me in that one, Dennis. Yeah, I mean, Pizza Boys, they've had an incredible season so far, you know, unbeaten. Uh, they have also a pretty good roster for Division 4 standards. Crow, uh, Crow Simpson and Adam uh, in their main roster we will be playing today um, in this series as well, probably in the World Playoffs if they make it through. Um, and on the other side, we have Fowles, Piotrek and Yeast. And, well, we have seen Yeast, of course, and Fowles, if I remember correctly, uh, last season in the Division 4 playoffs. Of course, because they had to play Division 4 this season, they did not get through. But if I remember from last season, we have seen four um, four Game 7s in the uh, playoffs. Uh, unfortunately, that will not be the case this uh, season, this playoffs, because, of course, we have just seen a uh, Game 6 ending. Um, but now, you know, it could really go to Game 7, to be fair. It are really close, um, really close teams. We are seeing the first place against second place. Team Alpha Bravo only lost against the Pizza Boys in league play. And Pizza Boys, of course, went unbeaten. So, you know, it could be a really close game. It could be the revenge of Team Alpha Bravo over the Pizza Boys. But because, you know, Pizza Boys, they went unbeaten, I'm still going for the Pizza Boys to win this series. I hope for a game seven. So I'm just going to say 4 3 to the Pizza Boys. Okay. I'm not going to go so far as to venture a series score because, honestly, these teams are very evenly matched. And Feel like it could go any uh, which way, but I feel like we should just leave it up to the players to decide that and uh, tell them to kick things off. Yeah, of course, Pizza Boys in the blue and Team Alpha Bravo in the orange. A very, very good lineup here for Pizza Boys and a good lineup as well for Team Alpha Bravo in a, the first series here. In the upper record of Division 4 playoffs, now things are getting really interesting. Who is going to get to the final with a one game um, advantage already? Because, of course, when you go into the playoff final, you already have a one game advantage over the other finalists who's coming out of the lower bracket final. But now we have um, got things started here. As we see, Adam up to the right side, Rosef intercepted there, it goes into the middle. No one there to push it, so Simpson just goes for it, missing the ball, and he takes over. Looked like it goes in, but Adam can get the save. Avel's going for the and tries to block Kroos up there, but did not work out. Adam, clean shot for him, but Yeast in goal. Good defense from him. Now Yeast tries to get again. Can't get it past Simpson, though. So now the ball getting into the corner. Koops gets it out. Adam, but Yeast takes over, gets control. Adam tries to get a 50, so does Simi Sim, but they can't really get a good 50 though as Krasov just takes over now with a pass to Simi Sim, but can't connect to his teammate. Krasov goes back, but it drops Adam with that. Now Adam, a yeah, shot for him, but he's already with a third save. You know, we have seen quite some shots already from the Pizza Boys. Three saves for Yeez, one save for Coop, so you know, we could say Pizza Boys has a little bit of the pressure now, and you know, the first minute. Four saves already forced uh, onto the Team Alpha Bravo side. You know, it could be one-sided. It's still a goalless game, but, you know, Team Alpha Bravo, they need to be careful. As you know, Team Alpha Bravo nearly scored it, but still goalless in this game one. Yeah, very, uh, you know, a lot of saves early on for Team Alpha Bravo. They've been putting a lot of pressure, but they're absorbing it very cleanly. And, you know, no one's had a very... Oh, fouls! Just an unfortunate miss. Luckily, Fame Krosif was unable to do much and so far in this first minute I think both these teams are just warming up to each other but Sim is Sim coming in to finish that one and take the lead for his side. Yeah he used a little bit too slow there to go up for that. Simi Sim just gets it into the bottom corner who's getting the very first goal for them in this playoffs. The very first goal of this series as well. Uh, the kick of Pizza Boys leading 
you know, we have, yeah, we thought already this would happen. Pizza Boy is just, you know, being a little bit the strongest side, though it's still a really balanced game, really balanced series. Aiden now pushes it upwards. No one to follow that as Vals is back. Koops takes it over off the side wall, but Simi Sim taken over into the corner, but Yeast gets it out. Rosef tries to get it again, but Vals gets it out. Aiden just pushes the ball upwards. Aiden up to the side wall into the middle. Simi Sim has a little bit of time needed for that control as Kosev now gets it over one but gets damaged straight away. But Vals missing the ball and now Simi Sim tries to follow the ball up. Koops gets it over Simi Sim, keeps following the ball. Great control from him, gets it past two actually, but can't get it past the third one. Kosev tries to get it but, uh, in, with a clear but couldn't really do that as now you know we're approaching off time and oh that's a great shot from Yeast who's equalizing in this game one. Yeah, comes off the corner. Val is a brilliant hit into the middle and Yeast just catching it perfectly to take it over the final defender. Brilliant finish from him, keeping his team in the running. So they bring it to Neck and Neck and he's the second half of this game now. Still could be either of these teams' game. Yeah, it could be either of these teams' game indeed. It is only game one. It might be a warm-up game. It is a best of seven. But literally both of these teams, they really can take it in game one. It can already make, you know, you can already make a mark in the series. If you win the game one, you already have, you know, that small advantage. You really want to have a good start of the series is very important. Uh, and both teams really want to accomplish that. Now with roughly two minutes on the clock, it's still one each as Aiden gets it up to the back wall. He's missing the ball and no one going to shoot that. Now Sim Sim is going up for that, but missing the ball. Like gets a weak hit, but that's a that's a good hit from Grosev getting the second for Pizza Boys, and that's a bang and off. Yeah, lovely dunk there from Simi Sim onto Vows, leaves it in a brilliant sh position for Grosev to make the shot. Yeast was in an awkward position backwards to the ball, wasn't really able to make anything happen there, and it's a brilliant chance for the Pizza Boys. They've once again put themselves in the lead and with less time on the clock it's a huge amount of pressure on this Alpha Bravo side to try and make things happen. They're gonna be a bit more panicky and here we see it as Easter, you know, desperately does make a very good job of keeping the ball away but just possession turns hands very quickly. Yeah again it is team Alpha Bravo who are losing by one goal we need to get back here in the last minute of this game one but otherwise it will be pizza boys taking this game one now adam has a little bit of time gets it past one fells in this time as well adam pushes but fells gets it past him fells gets it past two can he get it past the third one he does and that's a great play from fells who's getting the second goal for team alpha bravo with a great assist from him yeah just slides it past adam simi sim back flipping on that one and krosif just getting a bit too aggressive pushing into the front post as the last man, bit of a risky move and really, really doesn't pay off for him as Coops slides in to close that one out and heading into this final minute, we're once again tied up. Still could be either of these teams to take the win here and uh, you know, really making the most of it. A really balanced game, hopefully a really balanced series as well. This will just remain for the upcoming games you still have to see in this best of seven. Now it is game one. Two goals each, 30 seconds left as we now see the Pizza Boys in the offense. But Yeast can get it out, Vels now has a great control of the ball, flakes it, gets it up to the back wall, that's an open net, but Koops is completely missed up over the crossbar, and that's a penny there in the defense, and it is Team Alpha Bravo leading here with 18 seconds on the clock. Yeah, just really panic, desperation from the uh, Pizza Boys there, cutting out your teammate on defense and making a touch like that really not an ideal move still 18 seconds for them to perhaps recover the mistake but alpha bravo putting themselves in a great position here yeah 10 seconds on the clock and this speed to boys now in defense they need to get out they do indeed aiden pushes it up cook tries to get from the back wall he does indeed great read from him into the corner east now cross up into the middle, no one there to follow it up though. Adam keeps it up up to the wall, Get great control from him. Now Simi Sim is going up for that was there a second goal, but no, it does not happen. Team Alpha Bravo, great comeback from them, losing with one goal like twice this game. But in the end, they still came back very well, winning this game with 3-2. Yeah, Pizza Boy is just unnecessary panic, I think. You know, you're only in game one, it's not like... The finals or even you know taking series point just yet there's no need to be so desperate 
in uh you know especially on defense they really blundered quite a few times there and it allowed alpha bravo to really take control of the flow of the game they ended up coming out with a win there in game one and gives them a bit of a momentum bit of headway coming into the second game pizza boys really need to cool off a little bit take some time and you know get themselves cooled off before coming into this one because if they keep panicking like that it's really not going to be difficult for alpha bravo to control the flow of the entire series yeah, Pizza Boys, they really need to win this game now. They can't lose this one because Team Alpha Bravo will go up with two games then. It will be a really hard game. That's not the start Pizza Boys would have hoped for. Not the best kickoff, but still, it doesn't go in. Krausev now gets it out of harm's way. He's basically get a back pass, but Krausev is there into the middle. Cooks backflips into it. it. Goes up as fouls. Tries to get it again from the back wall. Both players on the back wall, but the ball is out for this time. Yeast. Off to the side or into the middle, Cooks takes over, gets it past one, and now that looks like an open net. You have to question the defense of Pizza Boys there, because where are the defenders of Pizza Boys there? Yeah, both defenders in the corner going for the boost, I believe, end up bumping each other, and neither of them actually anywhere near the net to cover it or even attempt to make a block on the attacker. Really unfortunate play from them. Need to work on getting that rotation a lot cleaner. They're still panicking a little bit it seems and it's allowed Alpha Bravo once again to take control they've taken a lead in this game and unless the pizza boys are able to recover themselves gain a bit of uh, their head back then uh, you know they won't be able to do much yeah of course you know the loser of this final after this best of seven isn't out of playoffs yet that's a new playoff system they will be going to the lower bracket so they will still have a chance to get into the, um, or to win Division 4, but they have to beat Oxymoron then in the lower bracket final. Oxymoron, we have just seen winning, so a great side as well. But talking about great side, it is Pizza Boys, it is Kralosa with a great banger and gets equalizer here in game two. Yeah, Simsim, a lovely 50, puts it straight back into Krosif, who sends it sailing straight into the middle of that net. The defender, not enough time to react and stop that one. and. It's here we see moments of brilliance from the Pizza Boys where you know really display a high level of mechanical basics, but it will be Alpha Bravo coming back immediately off the kickoff to take their lead back. Yeah, maybe Pizza Boys they need to improve the kickoffs, you know. At the, at the start of this game they already had some troubles with the kickoff in the end. It did not cost them a goal, but now it definitely does. Team Alpha Bravo coming back now. Second goal for them. And you know. They're really doing a really good job in this game too, you know, keeping the pressure, you know, trying to, you know, not let Pizza Boys score into your own goal. That's a really good defense from Team Alpha Bravo as well. I haven't seen them uh, making a lot of mistakes in this game so far. And, you know, they're doing a really good job. They just have to keep it like this, but still, three and a half minutes left. Everything can happen. Still, um, you know, Team Alpha Bravo with a lead, but, you know, Pizza Boys, they are unbeaten in the league. Um, so yeah, you know, it looks like they're a little bit panicking now in um, in this game, in this series in particular. I think both teams actually do. Maybe because, you know, it is playoffs, they are on stream, but, you know, in the, those kind of situations you just have to be calm and, you know, just play your own game. Because, you know, we have seen some mistakes uh, due to panicking in game one. And that's a miss from AEDAM, talking about maybe a little bit panicking there. Pizza Boys down by two now as Team Alpha Bravo scored that third. Yeah, bang from Coops and somehow both defenders just miss the ball. Really, they need to take a lot more time. They need to be patient. They're letting in really silly goals. It's a, you know, not something that you should be letting in when you're the third man and the ball's coming directly at you. Alpha Bravo just really abusing this uh, kind of panic they've induced in the other team to take control of the game, score a lot of goals, and you know, really just pile up the pressure even more. And you know, Pizza Boys shouldn't be panicking like this because, you know, from what we've seen, when they get it together, they perform like brilliant attacking plays. They get nice passes. They have good link-ups. They just really seem to be struggling on the rotational side, and it's letting them down a lot. Because if they can clean those rotations up, which I think mainly comes from just them, like, really being nervous and rather than staying and calming and keeping calm, they just don't seem to be doing any of that. It's letting them down, and if they're able to fix that, which Simi Sim does, but Mostly off a mistake from the Alpha Bravo defense. Yeah, he's kind of gives possession away, but then on the back wall, two players missing. 
And that kind of is an open net for CMC Moves. Getting the second for the Pizza Boys. Coming back in this game too. Hoping to get the win here. To, you know, after this game, let it be a best of five series. Both teams winning one game then. And then we just have, have you know, kind of like a league play series. A game or like a best of five series. In league play, we have seen Pizza Boys winning that. But we are not there yet. Team Alpha Bravo still winning with one goal in this game too. You know, they still have all the chance of the world to, you know, still win this game, still win this series because, you know, they're a decent side, but, you know, they are kind of making those little mistakes and double commits, uh, which, you know, can in the end cost them a few goals. If they can just fix that, both teams actually, then, you know, I can see both teams really performing better because we have seen some mistakes in defense and if they just fix that, then they can really be scoring more goals and conceding less in the end, you know, having a better advantage over your opponents. Krosif now coming and gets a lovely touch, trying to make things happen. Pizza Boys have kept it within one goal this time, and if they're able to keep themselves calm and collected in this final minute, they should be able to bring it back to an overtime. Krosif with a lovely hit, has an open net to work with this one-on-one, -on -one and Koops making the choice to cut him off early. Brilliant stuff from him. Alpha Bravo, you know, still keeping control of the pace, but Pizza Boys seem to be slowly but surely bringing themselves back together. Yeah, 45 seconds left and the Pizza Boys desperately need a goal now to not lose by two games in this series already. The first two games, now Adam tries to go for that up to the side wall. 17 Boost tries to go for the ceiling shot but can't get contact with the ball. Now 30 seconds left, the time is really taken off with Pizza Boys. Someone needs to go for it a little bit late but it works. Now the ball pops up into the left corner, looked like a double commit, and now the ball gets into the middle, Fell takes over, 50 seconds left, all Team Alpha Bravo needs to do now is keep the ball on the side of Pizza Boys, but now the ball goes to the side of Team Alpha Bravo, Adam keeps following that, Fowl's going up for that as well, gets a clear, it looks like he's going to drop down, still a few seconds left on the clock, Coops going for that, goes up to the back wall, and now Krosev keeps it up for that zero second goal, tries to go for a dribble now, Two plays pushing, oh that's a double commit, Adam tries to get over one but can't get into goal as Team Alpha Bravo, just like in game one, wins this game too. Yeah, brilliant close out for them, they rode the momentum out from game one, Pizza Boys you know, managed towards the end to slowly bring themselves back together, stop panicking as much but it wasn't enough, it was too little, too late for them in game two but it's a best of seven series and there's still time for them to use them, this new found piece they have to try and bring it into game three and turn it on Team Alpha Bravo. Maybe take, you know, an early initiative to try and get that first goal, claim a lead and put on some pressure. Team Alpha Bravo right now with this pillow, they kind of have this cushion of two games will be very comfortable. And maybe you can use that to your advantage to try and sneak some goals past them. Pizza Boys would be unfortunate to see them go out with a, you know, against a clean sweep, but could happen if they don't uh, start to pull things together. Yeah, you know, it might happen. Pizza Boys, of course, not the series we would have expected from them, but now it is Team Alpha Bravo leading by two games in Game 3 here. Simi Sim gets it out, who takes over as Fowles goes up for that, into the corner, Cross of Ted tries to get from the corner, Reed, he does indeed, excuse gets it, but Krauss have already there. You know, we have to see more pressure from the Pizza Boys in these games. Oh, that's a bomb from Yeast, creating some space now, but Krauss can take over and can, can create some some rest in the defense. Oops, now, the back wall as Yeast can't get the ball into the goal. Ball falls up to the side wall. Krauss gets it out for a little bit. Goes on himself, Koops, a little bit too late with the challenge as on the upside wall, Krasov tries to get again, tries to fake at one, gets it past one actually, gets a shot but he's with a save, Simi Sim is up for that, but it is off the crossbar, ball is still up into the middle, it is still in the middle, Vels finally gets it out, it looks like it's a little bit of an open net now, Vels goes for that, but no goal in this game yet, look like really dangerous there, but still a goalless game in this game 3. Yeah, stronger start from the Pizza Boys indeed, putting on some pressure on that Team Alpha Bravo side, not letting them you know, run all over them as they've been doing in previous games. It's a good start, but you know, unless they can actually get a goal from this pressure, it's not going to be 
ideal. Simi Sim trying to make things happen, but not able to do much when both his teammates are sitting on the back line. Yeah, 3 minutes 30 left on the clock, so a lot of time, but no goals created yet in this game 3. You know, Pizza Boys, they need to win, otherwise it will be Team Alpha Bravo going into match point in game 4, going for the clean sweep. That all Pizza Boys can do is reverse sweeping in this best of 7, which is not an easy task. You know, it is possible, but definitely not easy against, you know, a good Team Alpha Bravo side. Uh, the bar falls off to the side wall, it's down, Yeast into the corner, try to get again, Krausev against Yeast. It goes up to the back wall again. Rousseff tries to get over one, gets under one actually. Tries to get again, maybe open net, and it will be the first goal. Pizza Boy's taking this one, and that's definitely what they need here. Yeah, brilliant start from Ancrozif, beating out one man, and Yeast as the third player, not able to rotate back in time. You know, a bit of awkward positioning there. Alpha Bravo, perhaps some complacency due to the fact they had that 2 0 lead, they perhaps thought they had it in the bag and they've allowed Pizza Boys, who've managed to regain their competency, panic a lot less. And they've come out with a lead in this third game. They're able to maintain this, it could be a good sign for them. Okay, ball to side one now, goes down Adam, goes for the challenge. As we now see Krausev needs to get a clear, he does indeed. Up to the back wall, fouls. Blocked by Krausev though. Same as him, up to the side wall, Koops up to the back wall, someone there to follow, no, no one is there, Vals pops it up, oh, could be very dangerous there, Krosev tries to get a shot in, off the crossbar, but no one there to follow, as the ball is now out of the danger area of Team Alpha Bravo, in the counter attack now, Koops tries to fake a one, can't get it past him, uh, into the center, Simi Sim is going for that, Vals gets a little hit on it, leaving uh, Simi Sim, that he can't get a hit on the ball either, no. The ball off the side wall. Adam with the 50. You know, it's really the 50 with the Fennec. It's so strong. I've always seen it like the the the, the 50s with the Fennec are so much stronger that than uh, than other calls. It's just you know when you go for the Fennec, you just have to go for 50s, and in the end it will definitely benefit you a lot. Again, uh, Adam going for the 50. We have seen him doing that a lot, and you know if he just keeps on doing that with the 50s, then definitely that will create an advantage for his team. So it is, you know, they are leading in this game now, but they still need, um, yeah, they still need to win this game in the end and win some more games after because they're still losing with two games. But yeah, for now, just keep on going with for the upcoming one minute and ten seconds, and then it should be fine for this game. And uh, they just have to hope and just play well to win the other games here. Yeah, Pizza Boy is still maintaining this lead, and we head into the final minute, but. Alpha Bravo, can they get a bit more aggressive and maybe get an equalizing goal? They don't want to come away from the start of the fight, but Krosif beating out three players on his own, pushing it forwards. Bowers easing off pressure by taking Simsim out of the game. Adam losing the ball out to Yeast, who manages to put it in the middle off a double whiff from the defenders, and Koops is there to close it out. Really unfortunate small defensive mistake there. Yeah, for Simi Sim gets it into the middle and then Krausev can't back up his teammate either as, you know, Team Alpha Bravo, they are getting the goal, Koops can get it in, it's all equalized here with 32 seconds left, it's so an all open game now and Team Alpha Bravo back to go into match point, they really want to go into match point, they really want to go for the clean sweep to beat the unbeaten team Pizza Boys, Yeast gets it out, Simi Sim takes over, Simi Sim. Is up to the side wall. Well, gets up now by Falls. Koops tries to challenge it now. But Adam gets it out. Maybe one less offense before overtime begins. Maybe one goal can still be scored. As we now see Simi Sim into the corner, it looks like. But it's going to be dropped down as we see in game three overtime. And Team Alpha Private is one goal away from being into match point without any single games won by the Pizza Boys. And Krausev gets it out. Simi Sim leaves that to not make an own goal. As Koops gets it up to the side wall. Simi Sim tries to get out, missing the ball though. Adam also missing the ball. A little bit panic there into the, in the defense of Pizza Boys. Akrosev gets it with no boost to work with. Can't follow the ball up. Could no backboard read either from the team off the driver's side. Up to the side wall. To the, into the corner. Tries to get into the center, but it did not happen. As Koops gets it up. Adam needs to get it but doesn't. Now 
It is Kraus. If no one challenging there from Team Alpha Bravo, you know, we have seen a lot of times that, you know, there's a clear opportunity for the players to follow up a ball and, you know, maybe create some danger. But a lot of times, players are just not there or out of position. So, you know, a lot more danger can be created, but, you know, the players, they usually are just a little bit too far away from the ball. Yeah, it's uh, something that a lot of low level players do see it in these lower divisions is that they often think that, you know, in order to protect your goal, you kind of have to stay back and make sure you're there to make a clear. But a lot of times it's counterintuitive because if you don't commit on balls that you need to commit forwards, you're just giving the other team space to push into your half and generate offensive pressure, which just works against you in the long run. You really need to make sure you're pushing forwards, you're always being fluid, you're not you know, just statically sitting back. You need to commit when your teammate gives you a pass that's in the midfield. You know, make those shots count because all the offensive pressure that you generate also helps to keep that ball away from your own half and alleviate some of the struggles on defense. Now in the corner, Adem gets it. The foul's there already. You know, both teams are kind of playing a little bit passive, always just having someone back. But then there's no third man to, you know, shoot the ball in case the ball goes to them. Now the ball falls into the middle. Skrasov takes over. Gets a weak touch, but Simisim can maybe follow that up as Koops gets the save. There's already six saves for the team Alpha Bravo side. Koops and Gies both having a savior medal. Simisim gets it, maybe tries to get it again. Can't really get a good hit on that as Fowles takes over. Gets a clear. Adam gets into the middle, no one there to follow up. As Simi Sim goes for a little bit too late, Koops gets it up. As Krausev gets a save, a ball and save from his side. You know, we already two and a half minutes in his overtime. No winner yet. Simi Sim now tries to get a winner here for his side. Oh, that's a miss. Oh, what a save there is from Yeast. Important save. They were still playing on in this overtime in game three. Yeah, brilliant save there from Yeast, keeping his team alive. Of course, you know, they'd still be in the lead. If they were to lose this overtime, but they're looking for that sweep and they may get it if they keep making brilliant saves like that. Cube able to keep pressure on despite being demoed and really this looks to set to be a very intense overtime as we head towards the fourth minute of this one. Cube looking to close it out, but Krosif says no, doing a lot of work on the back line for his team. Yeah, we've seen a lot of good defensive um, actions here from both teams. Now Yeast tries to get it in in the offense, but can't make contact with the ball. Simi Sim without boost gets into the middle, but Cooks takes over up to the side wall. He gets it again, pops it up for himself, tries to go for like an air dribble. Can't get it past Krausev though. Up to the side wall. Simi Sim gets a hit on that. Krausev tries to get into the middle for one of his teammates. That's a good play. That's a great goal. Sweet as a brownie yes. as Adam scores the winner here in game three. Yeah, brilliant pass from Krosev. He catches it perfectly. Adam's up with speed. Bowers really should have had the read on that ball, but he didn't because it was a lovely pass. And the Pizza Boys finally get a game win. They take game number three and make sure that the Alpha Bravo don't get too much of a lead early on in this series. Yeah, now Pizza Boys finally can get a game. It is not a sweep, Team Alpha Bravo. They can't clean sweet Pizza Boys now. Pizza Boys really want to get back in this series now. Win next game and then the series is all open again after this very intense overtime. Around three minutes that was. And yeah, you know, Pizza Boys, they might have some momentum now. A lot of shots from their side, a lot of saves as well for the Team Alpha Bravo side. You know, that's a good pressure you want to see from the Pizza Boys. If they can just keep that up in game two, then they can definitely see a bright series for them. It did not look bright after the two games, but now after this game three, Dave. They, they've had some pressure. They didn't have that much um, defensive mistakes. And in the end, they can still win this series. Um, you know, it's still Team Alpha Bravo. They still need one one game to get it into match point. But Pizza Boys can definitely take it as well. If they've, as they've just had a really good game three, it is overtime. But in the end, they've had a majority of the pressure as well. Yeah, you know, Team Alpha Bravo really firing off a lot of shots. But Pizza Boys seem to have collected their thoughts finally. They're no longer panicking, as we saw in those first two games. They seem to have you know, brought themselves back into their usual state and they're giving Alpha Bravo a brilliant run for their money. And as we come into game four now, they'll be looking to even things out even further by taking another game. But meanwhile, Alpha Bravo, they know if they can win this one, they'll have the series point very early on. It will give them a very large cushion, a lot of pressure and 
really make the rest of the series a lot easier for them. So they'll be coming out strong looking for that opener. Yeah, and uh, Team Alpha Forever, they couldn't score for a long time in the last game. But now it is Adam straight into the game. Can't get a goal though. Scoops can get a back board clear. Krausev, side wall. Goes all the way to the other side as Adam tries to take over, tries to get a shot in. That's a good shot. That's top bins actually. No one there to save it as Pizza Boys straight in this game four gets a lead. Yeah, Adam, a lovely catch indeed. Sends it sailing into the top of the net from the right of that pitch. The goalkeeper not quite able to do much and Pizza Boys will be taking their lead this time, trying to solidify this momentum they've gained by winning that big overtime. Really, you know, when you lose an overtime that long, it can uh, put a dent in the morale for sure. And unless Alpha Brother are able to you know, keep their heads high, Pizza Boys may be able to utilize that a bit to their advantage and come out in this fourth game to get another win. Now to the side door, Adam tries to go for the edge but can't get another hit though. But that's a good follow up from his teammate. Could be a good play, but falls into the middle. This is really the unbeaten team you're seeing here. Much stronger side than the first two games, Pizza Boys. But they need to continue that in the upcoming minutes of this game and for the remaining of this series. Now to the side wall, bomb there from Coops. Leaving Simi Sim no space to get the ball. That's a double with there from the team Alpha Bravo side. And now he's with a little bit of time. Can't get another hit though. Gets no can't get a pass one actually. Looked like he missed. Simi Sim to side ball. Tries to get into the middle, but no one there. Fouls into the middle. And now Coop also going for that. He's going down the crossbar. A whiff there. Looks like a little bit of a panic there, but no one there to follow again. And again you you can see that. A lot of opportunities can be created, a lot of danger can be created if you just have the, um, the follow-up from your teammates. We have seen Team Alpha Bravo a few times in that situation where just, there's just no one there to follow it up. And just again, we have seen a situation, a great redirect though from Simi Sim. You know, Team Alpha Bravo, they really need to work on their follow-ups because so far it has not been looking very great. Yeah, definitely. You can't be leaving your teammates hanging out to dry in that attacking third trying to make passing plays when there's no follow. Yeast with a brilliant touchdown comes away with a double commit save there. Will be up to Coops to keep the pressure on as Team Alpha Bravo look to equalize this game. But Pizza Boys really just piling on the pressure. Coops with an close if with an open net miss. Sorry, really missing a chance to propel his team even further in this game. Yeah, unfortunately it did not happen. Pizza Boys still only up by one. It's Yeast. Tries to get past all the three defenders actually. It did not work for him. Well, now falls from the ceiling into the corner. Krausev takes over. It's pretty much a boost to work with. Good control as well. Goes for the air dribble. Can he get it past the team, past the opponents? But he just can't. As now a counter attack is coming in. He gets it past one. Gets a demo off on Adam as well. So now a little bit of space to work with. Gets it past one. Tries to go for a block. But he gets contact with any of the cars. But yeah. Can't get it into the goal after. The ball just got cleared out. Jimmy Sim now up to the side ball. Goes for another edge ball. Can't really get a good control of the ball though. Spells into his own corner. He takes over. This ball now falls from side ball. Adam into the corner. Good. Good bit of time to work with. Good control. But Adam takes over. Yeast. Can't get it past Adam. Spells up to the side ball. Krosev needs to get it. Good clear from him to his teammate. Adam can't get contact with the ball though. The ball now bounces from the back wall. No one that's to read it, but Simi Sim, he's there to clear the ball out. As far as M Coops both going for the same ball. That's a double commit. And again, because of that, no one to follow up the ball. Now he's coming from the third man, goes for that, falls off the post. Pizza Boy still leading by one, but Team Alpha Bravo, they look like they're, you know, they're coming back. They have some offensive pressure now with 50 seconds left. You know, I can't say for certain that Pizza Boys have won this game four. Yeah, you know, they still are in the lead, but with the time remaining, the Alpha Bravo side could definitely pull something surprising out of the bag. Krozif coming up for the denial, but ends up missing East, though no patience, won't be able to do anything, does stop it in its tracks on the wall, but Coop's trying to keep pressure going, the clock's just ticking down, the Pizza Boys keeping pressure off could change, but the longer they waste, the more likely it is that they come away with a win here. Alpha Bravo 
will lose all the pressure they have. Timmy Sims had a chance to really hammer it home, but didn't quite take it. And now, perhaps, as he gets a redirect, it may be a chance for a last-ditch goal for Alpha Bravo, but the miss coming out from East in the end doesn't bode well. Pizza Boys to take the fourth game and bring it back to 2-2. A completely different Pizza Boys side than what we saw in game one and two. Yeah, now they are actually tied up here in the series as it's 2 all in this best of seven. You know, the first team that can win two times now will win this series and will go to the grand final with a one game advantage already over the finalist going out of the loser bracket. So, you know, both teams, of course, want to take it. It can be any team. Pizza Boys now have, you know, a small advantage. They are, you know, having a little momentum going out from uh, game three and game four here. Now, going into game five, it will be a best of three series. So, you know, it can be over very quickly, or it can uh, take a little bit uh, until we have seen a winner here. So, it can go all the way to game seven for now. We're going into game five. Pizza Boys... A little bit of the stronger side, but we have seen Team Alpha Bravo. They can come back very well if they, you know, if they're getting pressured, they, they, they get scored against, then it looks like they're going to pop off. Then they have some pressure on the side of Pizza Boys. But, you know, we, we kind of have to see that already at the beginning of the game, already at the start of the game, to, you know, have the pressure on the Pizza Boy side because you, you, you don't want to lose this series. Now, you were 2 0 up in this series. So, really, Team Alpha Bravo, all they got to do is to, you know, get some pressure on the Pizza Boys. Let them panic a little bit, and then in the end, win this series. But the same counts of Pizza Boys, we have seen some defensive mistakes from both sides. You know, both teams need to stay very cool, very calm um, on the, you know, here in the Division 4 players. A live on stream could also make a difference for the players. Now, Game 5, it has been kicked off. As we now see the ball down in the corner. Fouls. Simi Sim tries to get it again. A miss there. It's now. The ball gets out, but Aiden now clean shot for him. He clears it from the back row. Great read from him. He tries to get it again. It seems him there already. Krausev can't get plus fouls, and Aiden going up for that into the corner. That is it's troops can't get plus Aiden. Aiden again, always there, you know, to just get the ball into the middle. Always be like the annoying factor for Pizza Boys against the team Alpha Bravo side, and that looks like a good shot for Krausev. Maybe Koops could have saved it. Maybe it was an own goal. But definitely, Koops could not save this one as the ball just gets in. Yeah, Crows are pinching it beautifully. But I have to say, I think that wasn't on target until the own goal came in. It looked like it might have rolled out wide, which is really unfortunate for the Alpha Bravo boys to score an own goal here because Pizza Boys are now going to have a lot of momentum. You know, of course, it's still only early, you know, days in this game, but they've come off the back of two game wins. They start things off strong with a goal in game five and they take the win here it really bodes well for them coming into the closing end of this series see so now with the 50 hoops going up for that you know we have we have said team alpha brother they need to get early um here in the in the game they need to get a lead because otherwise it will be just pizza boys having a lot of momentum and right now we are seeing pizza boys with a lot of momentum you know 1-0 up great shot but in the end, Koops with the save. You know, Team Alpha Bravo, they really need to get back in the series. We have seen a good side from Team Alpha Bravo, but now, you know, it looks like they're kind of falling apart. Defensive mistakes, over commits, double commits. Now, Simi Sim with the shot is his third shot for Pizza Boys already. You know, no shot for the Team Alpha Bravo side yet. And now that looks like it's going in. Krasov will get his second goal and will get Pizza Boys up by two. Yeah, a bit of a 50 there from Adam. Krosev comes in. Weird ghost touch from the defender there. Really unfortunate. And the third man unable to make contact on the save. And Pizza Boys taking another goal. A two-goal lead for them. Very, very strong. Yeah, three minutes on the clock still. As the ball now bounces from the back wall. He's going up for that. Simi Sim. Yes, tries to get up to side wall. Double with. Now Krosev gets it out a little bit as Faust takes over. So Pizza Boys up by two though. Half time left as Adam gets it up. He clears it out all the way to the other side of the field. As Krosev in a bit of trouble controlling that ball. Gets it over the goal but could be very dangerous now. The ball can't be shot on goal. Faust turns for that. 
of the inside wall. Finds his teammate, Aiden now, with a, well, kind of a save. I don't know if it was in, but gets it to his teammate. It's Aiden now. There's a fine his teammate on the left side. Leaves it for his teammate now. That's a shot of good passing play, but no pressure from Team Alpha Bravo. Still no shot created from Team Alpha Bravo. And that looks like it's a third goal. No, great save from Coops in the end, who keeps his team alive. And two minutes left. You know, it does not look bright for Team Alpha Bravo at all. You know, we have seen some good defense from them, but they need to get out. They need to get some goals at this point because two minutes left. And otherwise, it will be Pizza Boys going into match point in game six. Yeah, Pizza Boys really performing well there, maintaining this two goal lead, and they're putting on a lot of pressure. They follow up their balls quite nicely, you know. Still a few, uh, you know, under commits maybe. Maybe not the right word, but you know they're hesitating a bit, but they're pushing a lot more pressure into this offense. It's working out for them. And with a minute and a half on the clock, Alpha Bravo really seems to be struggling to get anything going. Now as Krosif comes in for the double tap, doesn't quite make the angle, but it was a brilliant attempt from him. It was a great read and a hard angle. And yeah, it is hard angle. He did score, but he was really close to that. So now the ball falls down. Same as got demoed there into the middle, can't score it, and now Yi tries to take control, gets into the middle, and goes with a big clear, tries to get it again, tries to now go for your double, he gets it again, but yeah, can't get it in the in between the post. Same as him shoots right after, but Yi's gets a save. They need to get out, no shot still from Team Alpha Bravo, four minutes passed, and now Koops just gets into the middle, Vols goes for uh, the shot, but it just gets into the corner. Same as him gets it out. Koops, yeah, you know, he keeps up with the pressure. You know, this is the pressure we had to see from Team Alpha Bravo at the start of the game. They have some pressure now, and Pizza Boys are kind of strong in defense, but they needed to have this at the start of the game. Because now 30 seconds left, two goals down. It's really hard to come back. It's possible, but they need to score right now. Vols can't make that happen as the ball now bounces from the side wall. He just keeps it up, up to the side of uh, Pizza Boys. Scoops goes up for himself and gets cleared out. Bells with a little bit of a 50 there with his opponent. Oops, can't get a contact with the ball. Adam gets it over one, and I think this game five has been decided now. It will be Pizza Boys taking the third game in a row. It was a very good start from Team Alpha Bravo at the start of the series, but you know, right now they look like they're just crumbling apart. And in the end, Pizza Boys taking three games in a row, going into match point in game six. And yeah, you know, they could decide it after this. Still a double tap from uh, from Coops. You know, that's one maybe to get some momentum going into game six, but it will not change the result of this game. Yeah, a bit of a flashy goal in the end there, perhaps building some confidence back up for the Alpha Bravo side. But Pizza Boys really turned themselves around. You know, like I was saying, they just needed to collect themselves, cool their heads, and they've managed to do that beautifully in these past three games coming out of game two they changed it around and they're now three two up in this series a lovely performance from them and coming into this sixth game they are now on series point if they're able to continue this wave and they get another win they will have closed it out in style but team alpha bravo you know they're not done yet i hope that coming into this next one they're able to turn it around because that last game was pretty disappointing from them their only shot that entire game was that double tap from Coops at the end. Really disappointing from them. They need to work on building some more pressure and sustaining offensive and midfield control because they seem to have let it all fall apart. Yeah, they just need to get the pressure straight uh, at the start of this game. It is game six. It is match point for Pizza Boys. And we need to see from Team Alpha Bravo, they get some pressure on the Pizza Boys side. We have seen it in the last minute of last game, but it was too late. They get, they got rewarded with a goal in a serious zero second mark, but it just was too late, of course. They lost that one with 2-1. Now it is Team Alpha Bravo. They, you know, they have a disadvantage going into this game six. Close to Pizza Boys with a lot of momentum, staying with the momentum straight into this game six. Four seconds in, it is Simi Sim getting a kick of goal. Yes, yeah, Simi Sim winning the kick off the double whiff from Alpha Bravo. It seems they're really being impacted by these losses. The, the momentum's just sweeping over them, and already the lead for Pizza Boys a strong start for them indeed. If they can keep it up once again, as we saw in the last game, then. It's really going to be a convincing closeout for them. But Alpha Bravo, they have it in them. We've seen them 
take game wins. We've seen them pepper shots at the goal. They just need to bring themselves back to that game one, game two dominance. He is now with the ball, tries to find one of his teammates. It gets cleared out. That's a good shot from Koops. Looked like it was going to go top bins, but Krausov in the end with the save. He pulled the save from his side. He is going up for this. Now we see some pressure from the team out of Krausov's side. Now the ball to the side wall. Krausov is going to the back wall. A clear out from Koops. Team is him going for that, but both players from Team Alpha Bravo there as well. So Adam, a good block by Vels to the side wall. Team is him drops it off for his teammate. Great play by the Pizza Boys. Process tries to get again. How much boost to work with? Tries to get a pass one, but Vels with a save now. Vels gets it again onto the side wall. Tries to get them their first goal in this game. Does not happen though, but we see a better Team Alpha Bravo side um, comparing to the Team Alpha Bravo side last game. Now the ball falls into the net, but that's a great save from Vals, but it still falls in Kroos. And that's really unfortunate from Team Alpha Bravo, but Pizza Boy is up by two now. Yeah, really a brilliant save attempt from Vals, but Kroos just comes in from the side and bangs it in a 2-0 lead for the Pizza Boys. And we're seeing the same story as the previous game being repeated. Yeah, two goals up for the Pizza Boys. You see him. Tries to get a bump actually, but Adam now needs to get a forced save after the shot of Koops. Yeast up to the uh, back wall. Falls just pushes it, but can't get into the goal. Well, bounces from the back wall now. Yeast can't get a shot on goal. No, the ball just gets cleared out. Krosev tries to get a demo in. Can't get a demo though. Needs to rush back now as Koops. Against two defenders, Aiden with a save, Simi Sim, not the best clear from him. No one would get there again to follow the ball up. It would have been very dangerous from the team Alpha Bravo side, but they just cannot continue with the follow up. So that's a save at the first place. And again, Aiden can just get it in after the save of Team Alpha Bravo. And it's 3 0 for Peter Boys, three minutes left. Could be game for Team Alpha Bravo. They still have time to come back in this game. Yeah, it's really disappointing. It just seems like Alpha Bravo have just crumbled apart completely. They've been unable to recompose themselves at any moment. Pizza Boy is just sweeping through these games like a storm, you know. They struggled in those first two, but the moment they turned it on, they turned it on completely and they just picked the Alpha Bravo side to pieces, winning game after game after game. And Alpha Bravo really don't seem to have brought it back they need to work on their rotating, they just need to get a bit more accuracy. They just seem to be down a bit in the morale department. Now Vals with the ball up. They just can't score. Maybe now Koops getting the ball in, but it just gets cleared out. Half time left as Yeez goes for that. Gets beaten by his opponent. Now a demo from Koops on Krausev. As now the ball just gets pushed out. Stray on. Adam just takes control. Has possession. Fouls pushes it up, up to the corner. Could be very awkward there for the Pizza Boys, but he is now here into the corner. Tries to find one of his teammates, maybe a pinch at sound, but you know, he's just got the ball away in front of his teammate. Now the ball goes into the goal, but save from Yeast. Adam missing the ball, goes under the ball, up to the side wall. Ball now falls from the back wall, dropping down, and I think that is a decider. Eight shots from uh, Team Alpha Bravo, no goals. Oh, we see seven shots and four goals from Pizza Boys. That should know the difference here between these both teams. Yeah, Alpha Bravo really able to get the shots off this game, but just not converting any of them. Really unfortunate for them. Meanwhile, the Pizza Boys, four goals to none. A very convincing way to close out the series. And in fact, quite similar to the way the lower bracket series ended with a huge win at the end. Very, uh, you know, repetitive sort of story today. Could be a chance now, but Val was just able to close that one out. Could have been rough if they didn't get that goal. Yeah, it looked really close there. Aiden missing the ball in the end. He is not being able to get contact with the ball, but Val's right behind him, can get the goal in. Maybe it's still possible. One minute, 26 seconds left. Estima for Bravo are still down by three goals. Can they make it happen? Can they get this series to a game seven? Or will it be Pizza Boys winning four games in a row? It would be very nice from Pizza Boys to win four games in a row. But it's not over yet, as you still see pressure from Team Alpha Bravo on the Pizza Boys side. Process, no boost to work with as Faust takes over. There's no one there really from Team Alpha Bravo 
who's pushing that. You know, now they're too late, and you know, yeah, you, they're just too late there again. You know, we had to see them earlier there with a challenge, and if you're just too slow there, you're just going to lose the challenge. No one in that either, as Pizza Boys, you know, they remain the lead. Four goals up again, as Pizza Boys are up by 5 1. Yeah, very, very strong closer for the Pizza Boys, giving them a very dominant show. They will have a break, of course after this one to try and relax and get themselves composed for that grand final. Meanwhile, the Alpha Bravo side will have to think about what to change up as they head into that lower bracket game because if they keep playing like this, it's possible that Oxymoron are just going to take them out in that lower bracket and really some changes need to come through. They need to just collect their thoughts and stop you know, diving into every ball. They seem to be at a loss of what to do there's not a huge plan and it needs to change because it, it's going to be sad to see them go out in a fashion such as this yeah 5-1 up in the end pizza boys are really good to come back in this series now goes without boost maybe can get one goal gets it over one he just pops it up but Adam there to clear out the ball five seconds left oops tries to get it but yeah, this game done and does it. It is this series done and does it. Pizza Boys with a very, very sweet uh, comeback. Sweet as a brownie as they just can get back in this series. Four games in a row, 5-1 win in the very last game. And that's a really dominant performance to go into the grand final of Division 4. It is not over yet for Team Alpha Bravo. They can still uh, win this Division 4 in the end, but they can just win against um, Oxymoron in the lower bracket in the end you know they go into the grand final against the same pizza boys with a one um you know, you know yeah then pizza boys is having a one game advantage but for now we are seeing pizza boys going into the grand final team alpha bravo they need to uh, take on oxymoron in the lower bracket so you know it's not over for team alpha bravo but definitely they would have hoped for, hoped for more after we were after they were two games up um, after two games. So, you know, really good performance by Team Alpha Bravo at the start of the series, but in the end, Pizza Boys. Four games, one in the end, uh, in a row as well. So, you know, good performance by Pizza Boys. Yeah, an excellent comeback from them. Really, after games one and two, I was worried. They looked really panicked, really just falling apart, but they turned it completely. And towards the end, it looked the opposite, that Alpha Bravo with the team panicking and not really knowing what was going on. And, uh, you know, Really an interesting story indeed, but now Pizza Boys have a chance to rest as Alpha Bravo head into the lower bracket finals to take on Oxymoron and see which of them will be competing in that grand final against Pizza Boys. We're going to head to a short intermission and then we'll be back. <laughs> 